Fala pessoal, esse vídeo aqui é direcionado ao Mike que projetou esse barquinho aqui para ser feito em impressão 3D e ele tem uma... a forma com que esse barquinho se desloca é por, por uma mola espiral que fica dentro dele então a ideia aqui é tirar algumas dúvidas com o Mike Hello Mike, I uh, hope you're still there Uh, so I'm having an issue printing this part of your design and I was I was wondering and hoping that you could assist me on getting the best setup for my slicer to get it done. Basically the issue that I'm having is this. When the part is, is, is already sliced, uh, I have these gaps between, uh, between the walls and the printer Uh, goes back and forth when doing this uh, these gaps and this makes a mess with the uh, with the printing so let me do a play here and you'll be able to see it see how the the nozzle goes back and forth doing this uh, I've never seen this before happening in any other uh, any other design that I printed so here it's gonna be clear, uh, more clear So you, you can see it keeps going back and forth and that generates a lot of stringing and a lot of uh, uneven surfaces which when the printer moves to the next layer it becomes a mess. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of what kind of a configuration I'm using here but uh, basically I already tried I already tried several different configurations and including 100% infill and it doesn't change it keeps put it 100% but it keeps not doing 100% so even with 100% it continues to do the same thing still have the same gap in between the walls so I was wondering if you could help me um, sharing your uh, slicing configurations So this way I could maybe try to implement it to my uh, slicer. I'm nowadays using the huge make cooler uh, last version. Uh, yeah, so this is basically the last part that I need to print to make this uh, project work. And I wish you could help me. <laughs> I hope actually you could help me. Thank you very much and uh, great design. Congratulations. As you can see mate, uh, when the printer goes for printing the Uh, the spiral spring it just nothing happens and uh, I tried all kinds of, of configurations you can imagine and with the same printer with the same configuration with the same files there are on the card right now I already printed the gears and, and all the other parts but the spiral is just not happening uh, I use the same slicer the same configurations but it just cannot print the spiral. So uh, I was wondering what kind of a slicer are you using? And if you, if you could somehow uh, give me some coordinates to get this spiral uh, printed. Uh, I'm not sure if these gears are gonna work. I still need to check it. Uh, this, my printer is not 100% calibrated for this such small parts. But we'll see once I, once I uh, assemble it. I just need to be able to print this <laughs> spiral before uh, to actually be able to, to, to make it work. So yeah, if you can help me, I'll appreciate. See how it does? It keeps going back and forth. Instead of, instead of doing the, the rounds in one go, it keeps, it keeps going back and forth and it just makes a mess. And as, as you can see, it's not even printing, it's, it's just not, not pouring material. And it only happens with this, uh, this part particularly. So uh, that's it. Uh, let me know if you, can, if you can do anything for me. I will appreciate. Thank you. Uh, by the way, I tried to print this on both printers. This one has a modeling uh, version installed and still no, it still don't do it. It's just uh, I can only I can only uh, say it's something to do with the slicer and the design of the part itself. All right.